हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आई एग्जाम बी स्टूडेंट्स आज यू नो कि आईबीपीएस आरआरबी ऑफिसर स्केल टू और स्केल थ्री का जो नोटिफिकेशन है वो ऑलरेडी आउट हो चुका है और रीजनिंग की अगर हम बात करें रीजनिंग इज़ एन इम्पॉर्टेंट सेक्शन क्योंकि यहाँ पर आपसे 40 क्वेश्चंस पूछे जाएंगे और 50 मार्क्स का आपका ये टेस्ट होगा स्टूडेंट्स आप पज़ल की बात करोगे तो पज़ल कंस्टिट्यूट्स लाइक 40 परसेंट ऑफ द पेपर अगर 40 क्वेश्चन आते हैं तो 20 क्वेश्चन आपके पज़ल से होंगे इसलिए आज के सेशन में हम पज़ल्स को डिस्कस करेंगे स्टूडेंट्स फॉर योर ईज एंड कन्वीनियंस डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में मैंने 50 क्वेश्चंस आपको पज़ल्स के दिए हैं जो आई बी पी के लेवल के हैं अगर आप लेवल जानना चाहते हैं तो गूगल फॉर्म पे जाइए पज़ल्स को अटैम्प्ट कीजिए पज़ल अटैम्प्ट करने के बाद आपको 40 क्वेश्चंस और मिलेंगे जैसा कि मैं आपको बता चुका हूँ रीजनिंग में 40 क्वेश्चंस होंगे और 50 मार्क्स का आपका टेस्ट होगा और यहाँ पर सेक्शनल कट ऑफ क्लियर करना बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट जाएगा अगर मैं पिछले साल के पैटर्न की बात करूँ तो आप यहाँ पर देख सकते हैं कि सिटिंग अरेंजमेंट से दस क्वेश्चन आए थे पिछले साल की मैं बात कर रहा हूँ सर्कुलर में एट पर्सनस को उन्होंने फेसिंग इनसाइड और आउटसाइड बिठा रखा था और एक आपका लीनियर सिटिंग अरेंजमेंट से था उसी तरीके से अगर शेड्यूलिंग पजल्स की बात करें तो यहाँ पर टेन पर्सन का एक पज़ल था जहाँ पर सेवन डेज एंड टू स्लॉट्स आपको दे रखे थे और एक कंपैरिजन बेस पज़ल था तो पज़ल का आपका इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल प्ले करेगा अगर आप आई बी पी क्लियर करना चाहते हैं तो so you have to study the following information and answer the questions given below so directions have been given to you you have to read the directions carefully so eight boxes from p to w were placed in a almira of eight shelves the bottom shelf was numbered 1 and top most shelf was number 8 each of these boxes contain different amount of sugars and the amount is also given to you but not necessarily in the same order some more directions are given to you based on that you have to solve this particular puzzle my advice to all of you is to read all these direction carefully right and always start your question with the concrete information and after that you have to link each statement and draw your table accordingly so based on your direction i am drawing a vacant table which we will fill accordingly as per our directions now your box v was placed one of the even number shelf and contain 17 kg of sugar so you can make a mental note that your box v is placed at even number shelves either 2 4 6 and 8 and it contains 17 kg of sugar so you can write it somewhere because basis on this particular information i cannot fix the place of v now your box which was placed on sixth shelf contain 10 kg of sugar so now this is the concrete information i am writing 10 over here that is at sixth number shelf now box q was placed immediately below the box which contain 8 kg sugar and immediately above the box which contain 2 kg sugar so this can also you write it somewhere that your box q was placed immediately below the box which contain 8 kg sugar right and it is immediately above the box which contain 2 kg sugar so you can write a small hint over here similarly for this we you can also write a small hint now box r was not the lightest right and box u was the heaviest now the heaviest among all is 25 kg that means you must be having 25 kg weight right now if you read this condition that there are three boxes between box u and box s and box s was placed below the shelf on which u was placed right so there is a gap of three boxes between your u and s and s is placed below now t was immediately above the box which was the heaviest now the heaviest box is u 
having 25 kg weight so t must be above u so this is the concrete information we will have and we'll try to fix in this particular table so if i can place t over here that is eighth position then u must be at seventh position and accordingly there is a gap of three boxes between u and s and your s will be at third position right so you can place t either at eighth position or if you place t at seventh position you cannot place it because your u is just below it and u is having 25 kg weight but this place is already occupied by 10 kg so you can place t over here that is at sixth position so if you place t at sixth position then u must be at fifth position right and accordingly s would be at first position so there would be two cases either you place t at eighth position or you place t at sixth position so accordingly i am drawing the two cases so these are your two cases where in first case t is placed at sixth position and in second case t is placed at eighth position now in the question it is given to you that box r was placed above the shelf on which box u was placed right now your box r is above you so if you look at the second number case you have to like eliminate this case because this condition does not fit in your case number two and if you read further your box r was placed above the shelf on which box u was placed but not on the e1 number shelf right that means box r must be at odd number shelf and above u and the only vacant slot as per this condition in case number one is seventh position so i am writing r over here now box p contained 20 kg of sugar and was placed either at the top or the bottom shelf now as per my case number one box p can be fixed at the top position right because the bottom position is already occupied by your s and it contain 20 kg of sugar so i am writing 20 over here now if you read this particular hint that your box q was immediately below the box which contain 8 kg of sugar and immediately above the box which contain 2 kg of sugar now as per this condition you can place q either at position number three or at position number two so accordingly i am forming the two cases wherein i am placing q at second number position in my case number one and q at third number position in my case number two so as per my case number one if q is at position number two so the box which contains 8 kg must be here and the box which contains 2 kg must be here accordingly 8 and 2 are over here in your second case now if you read this condition that your box v was placed at one of the e1 number shelf and contain 17 kg of sugar so you have to eliminate your case number two because you know that either we can be fixed over here that is position number two or we can be fixed at position number four but both the positions are occupied by two and eight and your box v contains 17 kg of sugar so there is no slot for your 17 kg however if you look at your case number one you can easily place v at fourth position and write 17 over here right so this case is valid and second case becomes invalid now the only space left is for w that is at position number three so you can write w over here right now you know that box r was not the lightest here it is given that box r was not the lightest if this is the condition then you know that 
your Q was the lightest. So you can write 1 kg over here and box R will contain 5 kg. Now this is your arrangement. You can now answer any number of questions based on this particular arrangement. Now in first question it is given how many boxes were placed above the box which contain 25 kg of sugar. Now box U contain 25 kg of sugar and there are three boxes above your box U. So the correct answer for this particular question is option number D that is 3. Now your second question is what amount of sugar was contained by box Q? So the correct answer is 1 kg therefore option number B is correct. Now your third question is how many boxes were placed between the box which contain 5 kg sugar and the box which contain 1 kg sugar. So this is the box which contain 5 kg sugar and this is the box which contain 1 kg sugar. So you can count the number of boxes that is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So 4 is the correct answer. So the answer for this question is more than 3. Now, which of the following combination is correct? So you have to check the combination. So first option is 7 or 8 kg, 7 or 5 kg is as per our table, 1 P 20 kg, 1 as 2 kg is as per our table, right? 2 Q 1 kg, 2 Q 1 kg is absolutely correct as per our table. So the correct answer is option number C. Now, four of the following five are alike in some way, hence form a group. Which of the following is the one that does not belong to the group? So if you focus on your option, V contains 17 kg, right? Your Q contains 1 kg, R contains 5 kg, U contains 25 kg and T contains 10 kg. So all the four are odd numbers and your last option T is even number. Therefore, option E is correct. Students, I hope you have puzzle ka level acha laga hoga. And if you have not previous year paper, अभी तक नहीं दिए हैं तो ये देना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है ताकि आपको पता चल जाए कि 2019 में 2020 में 2021 में किस तरीके का एग्जाम पैटर्न था इस पैटर्न्स को अटेम्प्ट करके आप अपनी वीकनेस और स्ट्रेंथ जान सकते हैं और अपनी तैयारी को एक नई दिशा देते हैं और उसी तरीके से फ्री मॉक टेस्ट भी अवेलेबल है हमारी आई एग्जाम भी वेबसाइट पर आप जाएं और आईबीपीएस आरआरबी स्केल 2 स्केल 3 के फ्री मॉक टेस्ट को अटेम्प्ट कीजिए स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग आई एग्जाम बी